Hey investors, Young Investor Guy here. So you may have noticed that tech stocks have continued to go up as investors look for growth. And also at the same time, you may have also noticed that NASDAQ is once again back at all time highs. Out of these growth stocks, you'll notice it's the cloud sector that has been performing particularly well. And that is due to a lot of companies now need to transition to a new business model and actually be able to incorporate people to let them work from home. Now, cloud stocks are also attractive to investors because they produce recurring revenue and that's like the monthly bill you pay for your phone and your Netflix, so that's recurring. And also, high retention because users are most likely tied and bundled up for a period of time, so they like the high retention. Also, the fact cloud stocks are digital, so meaning users can access the cloud from anywhere. Which is why in this video, we're going to look at some of the top cloud ETFs on the market. We're going to look at their holdings, their structure, their fees, performance, as well as my take on each of them. You can be a value investor or you can be a growth investor. A lot of times, value stocks tend to be undervalued, but then growth stocks tend to be overvalued. In the short term, some cloud stocks may be overvalued, but they may continue to go up as investors look for growth. At the same time, some value stocks may be undervalued, but they may continue to go down. Only the market will dictate what happens next. There's no fortune teller and stuff like that, so it is always good to hold a portfolio, a balanced one, that you have growth stocks as well as value stocks. That way you can capture gains on both sides. Before we start, I want to give you some structure and some highlights on how some of these cloud ETFs are built. And also, if you could take one second to generously like this video, you would be amazing. The term cloud has been used pretty generically, and it is good to know that cloud stocks can actually be broken down into three categories. So these stocks can be SaaS, PaaS, or IS. So that's software as a service, platform as a service, or infrastructure as a service. So in this example, we can consider Gmail as SaaS. It is a SaaS for most users. And then other SaaS may also include software like you know, Salesforce, you know, Adobe products that are in the cloud. And we can simply use these applications with a simple internet connection. Now the paths are the layer beneath that allows users to create and develop these applications. And the examples here would include like the Google App Engine. And now if you go down further, that will be the IS, and then that would be the infrastructure that powers the cloud. An example here would be the AWS. Okay, now we know that the cloud ETFs are gonna be built around these three categories. Let's look at some ETFs. The first cloud ETF we're gonna be looking at is Wisdom Tree's Cloud Computing Fund, ticker symbol WCLD. The WCLD ETF is a fairly new ETF that just came into the market in September 2019. Even though it's fairly new ETF, it wasted no time in getting buyers into the fund for the investors who want to get some cloud exposure. WCLD currently has 52 holdings, and some of its holdings include hyper-growth names like Fastly, Zoom, Zscaler, DocuSign, Datadog, Twilio, Cloudflare, Wix, CrowdStrike, and Shopify. Now these 10 names account for about 28% of the total portfolio. If you go down the list further, you'll see they also invested in stocks like Hoopa Software, Okta, Viva, and 2U. So basically all rapid growth names. So it's pretty obvious this ETF focuses on cloud growth. And the WCLD ETF also has a special formula on how it picks its stocks. So you have growth, retention, in the bank and targeted spend. So basically, you know, they want companies that can grow and you know, companies that can keep their customers, um, companies that have enough cash on the balance sheet, and also find companies that do not really overspend on costs. You can also say that the WCLD ETF is also a work from home play as it captures the element of the whole working from home package. When you need to do meetings and conferences, you've got Zoom video. When you have internal communications, there's Slack for it. And then they've also invested in DocuSign that's used for legal documents and signing, as well as Dropbox for sharing collaboration on documents, as well as they got PayPal for online payments. The WCLD ETF currently has an expense ratio of 0.5%, which is higher than your traditional ETFs like the SPY and then the QQQ. 
But given all the hyper growth names that this ETF invests in, it's certainly not too bad if the growth at the end can outweigh these ETFs costs. The second cloud ETF we're going to be looking at is CLOU. This is Global X's cloud computing ETF. The fund also focuses on the three categories we mentioned earlier, the SaaS, the PaaS, and the IS. CLOU's top holdings include high growth stocks like Twilio, Zoom, Zscaler, Coupa Software, and Shopify. This ETF currently has 36 holdings at the moment, and we can see in the top five names from Twilio, Zoom, Zscaler, Coupa, and Shopify accounting for 26% of the total fund. At the same time, this ETF also holds mega cap names like Salesforce, Netflix, Amazon, Microsoft, and Alibaba. And those ones would account for a close to 13%. So if you like a good balance between the hyper growth stocks as well as the mega stocks, then this one might be worth looking into. The mega stocks like the Amazon, the Microsoft, and the Salesforce are still good building blocks for any ETFs. Not to mention they're also still growing quarter over quarter, year over year. Now I just want to mention that these weights are adjusted periodically, so they'll change from time to time. The expense ratio for this fund is slightly higher at 0.68%. The next cloud ETF we're going to be looking at is First Trust Cloud Computing ETF, ticker symbol SKYY. Now, the SKYY ETF has more holdings than the two previous ETFs at 61 holdings. Its top holdings are Amazon, Microsoft, VMware, MongoDB, Alphabet, Oracle. So right off the bat, you know that this fund focuses more on the mega cap names. But you know, if you go down the list more, you can then find the hyper growth names that we saw earlier, like the Zoom, the Zscaler, DocuSign, Coupa, and CrowdStrike. In my opinion, this ETF takes more of a conservative approach, allocating more weights towards the Amazons and the Microsoft on the mega cap stocks. Allocating more weights towards mega stocks means you'll be getting more stability in a market downturn, but more gains are most likely to come from the hyper growth stocks in the long run. In my opinion, this ETF would be less risky than the two previous ETFs mentioned due to the fact that they have these mega stocks as their building blocks. This ETF has an expense ratio of 0.6%. On the plus side, the SKYY ETF does offer a small dividend at 0.35% at the time of the video, which is somewhat nice. Another cloud ETF worth checking out is IVES. And this is Wedbush's ETF-MG Global Cloud Technology ETF. Now this cloud ETF is more focused on the whole cloud computing, SaaS, PaaS, and IS globally. So this would be slightly different than the three previous ETFs we discussed based on its structure. IVES is a lot more international and invests 50% from the US, 21% from Japan, 4.5% from Canada, China, Germany, Israel, Netherlands, and Sweden. Looking at the top holdings, you'll also see companies from different countries. And you'll also see that Datadog is actually this ETF's biggest US holding. So this ETF is kind of interesting in a way, although it's diverse globally, the individual holdings can be a little risky. Now the IVES ETF has an expense ratio of 0.68%, which is the same as the CLOU ETF from earlier. The SKYY ETF has an expense ratio of 0.6%, while the WCLD has an expense ratio of 0.45%. Now let's take a look and compare the performances of these ETFs and see how they stack up against each other. For this example, this is a comparison of these four ETFs from the year 2019. So it may be a little difficult to see from this chart here, but the candle chart you see right now here is SKYY, and this has moved up 41.6% from 2019 until June 2020, which is the time of this video. The CLOU ETF also generated similar return at 42.2%. The WCLD ETF is the best performer at 49.2% and the IVES ETF generated 25.5%. In my opinion, the WCLD ETF is the pure play on hyper growth cloud stocks as it holds more than 52 names. At the lowest expense ratio at 0.45%, it is an attractive way to get into the cloud sector. The CLOU ETF allocates top holdings towards hyper growth cloud names 
but at the same time, it also allocates some holdings towards Microsoft and the Amazon to give it more even weight. The SKYY ETFs gives you exposure to these cloud stocks, but maintaining risk by allocating more weights towards the Amazon and the Microsoft. And the IVES ETF is more of a global cloud computing play for investors who are looking to diversify globally. Investors, are you currently invested in any cloud stocks? Let me know your thoughts. And also, if you just could take one second to like this video, that would be much appreciated. Thank you guys again for watching. Appreciate your time, and I'll see you guys next time.